Good morning, or afternoon, as the case may be. Today, we are working again on OAA preparation for the reading test. By now, you should have taken a look at your OAA preparation assessment results. You may be satisfied or dissatisfied with those results, but regardless of the outcome, we're moving on. The informational text that you've been studying in the last few practice tests is only one portion of the reading test. Informational text is non-fiction material. For this next series of tests, we'll be working on literary text. That means we'll be focusing on stories, characters, plot, and so on. Regardless of the fact that we've shifted into a different type of reading, we'll still use the SPARK strategies to answer multiple choice questions. These strategies are useful regardless of the type of reading material that we are approaching. And some of these strategies are exceptionally important here, such as summarizing. After you've finished with each reading selection, you should summarize it. Understand the main ideas, and for literature, this often means the main characters and conflict. You should reread as necessary. Whenever the question asks you to reread a portion of the text, do it. Whenever the question implies that you reread a portion of the text, do it. You should keyword. Often, the questions ask you simply to match key concepts from the answers and the text. Keywording can help you do this. But I'd like to talk for a brief moment about the concepting skill. The concepting skill can become very important in literature because the Department of Education expects that you have learned quite a few concepts in analyzing literature. You learned many of those concepts this year through the short fiction unit. So what do I mean by literary concepts? Well, you've known a lot of them, but here's a quick refresher. We could be talking about point of view, what I often call narrative perspective, or climax, or characterization, metaphor, setting, conflict, dynamic character, static character, simile, symbol, setting, or any one of a host of others. As you look at questions in literary text selections, identify if they are asking about a specific literary concept. Often you can answer the question simply by understanding the concept clearly. If you don't understand the concept clearly on a practice test, look it up. Use the internet to look it up or look in your past materials from the short fiction unit. Your textbook would be a good place to look as well as it has a glossary of literary terms. But if you dig through your own materials or online materials, you'll find definitions for these literature concepts. Remember, you cannot define them during the OAA reading test itself, so be sure to define them when you're reading a practice test. For today, I would like you working in the Ohio Department of Education Web for Students to take your next practice test. So, once you finish watching this video, don't forget to log in. Select a new practice test and go. As you complete the practice test, complete it slowly. Take advantage of all the test-taking strategies. Make sure that you're doing the best you can.